Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like the video and follow me at, on all platforms at Tay Brene. She's the kind of chick who likes to look fly, can pick up any guy with a slick rap line. Eve E, how you do that? Eve E, how you do that? Eve was an American sitcom that debuted September 15th, 2003 on UPN. And it ended May 11, 2006. And it starred the cast of Eve, Jason George, Ali Laundrie, Natalie DeSalle Reed, Brian Hooks, and Sean McGuire. The show revolves around two sets of male and female friends attempting to navigate relationships with the opposite sex. The series originally was developed as a vehicle for Eve under the working title The Opposite Sex. UPN executives approached a rapper about a television project after the success of fellow musician Brandy in the show Moesha. Eve series was created as part of the network's attempt to appeal to a younger demographic. After being picked up, the show was renamed Eve to attract the rapper's fans because in the show, her name was Shelly. We all just let it slide by, but it's okay because the show was good. It was set in Miami, but filmed in Hollywood. Eve has also stated that she was intimidated at first by the process of preparing for and filming a sitcom. And she would later regret not fully committing to her character. And we'll get into that in a moment. But this show suffered a low viewership in spite of its high ratings among young African-American women. And it was canceled following UPN's merger with WB, which is now considered the CW in 2006. The series cancellation, along with that of other black sitcoms, was criticized by media outlets for reducing representation of African-American characters in the number of roles African-American actors on television. Critical response to Eve was mixed. Some praised its inclusion as part of UPN's lineup of black sitcoms, but others felt Eve lacked charisma. Eve sat down with TV One and starred on their show, Uncensored, and admitted that she was part of her show's downfall. So let's get into what she stated on the show. She said, having my own sitcom was everything. It was pressure. It was fun. It was stressful. It was amazing. I was the youngest at the time of the cast, and a lot of them were just getting married, just having babies or buying their first house. I was still going to the club trying to get to set at 9 a.m. trying to get to a table read, which was, don't do that ever. It took me a minute to figure out that rhythm because I had always been on tour all my life, pretty much, up until that point. I think for me to offset some of that, I was still trying to hang out at night, which was not good. When the show ended, it was definitely heartbreaking because at that time, we had done three seasons and we were family at this point. I do believe a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was trying to straddle both sides of my life, still trying to hold on to kind of hanging out, and I was late a lot. That's not cool. I do think a lot of it had to do with my actions at the time, and I do think about it sometimes. When I look back on it, I'm like, wow, I don't believe in regrets, but that is one time in my life where I wish I would have taken it a little more seriously than I did. It takes a lot for someone to admit that they were wrong, but that did not stop Eve. Eve went on to be a host on the CBS daytime talk show, The Talk, up until last year. So she was on that show from 2017 to 2020. She also, of course, starred in many movies like Barbershop, Barbershop 2, and Barbershop The Next Cut, aside from her four albums that she put out and in 2014 she also married Maximilian who is a millionaire so Eve is living her best life she now resides in the United Kingdom and she has a podcast called constantly evolving I still want to get into another video where a lot of UPN's black sitcoms got canceled comment down below if you would like to see a video on that and as always thank you for watching again don't forget to like comment and subscribe share my video like it up let youtube know that you like my content all right i'll see y'all in the next segment